Welcome back to another audio editing tutorial using Audacity. In this video, we're going to learn how to record in some audio, and we'll be looking at these different tools here up in the toolbar uh, to make changes to that audio. So to start, I'm just going to record in a simple audio file that we can edit. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So again, to do that recording, I just hit the record button with my left mouse button, and then when I'm done recording, I left click on this square, this stop button. If I want to play it back, I can just hit this green play button and it'll play from the beginning. If I want to pause at any point, I can hit the pause button to pause. Testing. So I've paused now, and now we see there's this black line right where I've paused. That's how I know where I'm at in the recording. You'll notice there's like a, uh, this selection tool is, is currently selected or pressed in. We can change the tool by left clicking uh, what tool we want to be on. But right now we're on the selection tool, and that means it lets us select different portions of the audio. So if I left click, it'll move. That black line will stay there kind of where the playhead is, but the black line where I have my selection made is where it'll start playing from if I hit play again. So now if I hit playing, it'll just play this last thing I said, which I believe was the number three. three. And it'll play and then get to the end and stop. If I want to play just a certain portion, if I want to start by saying one, two, three, I can click over here, left click. I get that black line to appear, and then I can click play. One, two, three. It'll play just that portion of the audio. Uh, if I want to play back from the beginning, these toggle go moving to the beginning and end of the uh, audio file. So if I hit this button, the playhead goes back to the beginning. If I hit this button, it goes to the end. That's kind of nice if you're working with a long video file or if we're zoomed in very closely and we want to get to the end or the beginning. A lot of times I'll just click the beginning and then play to make sure I play from the beginning because if I've been editing somewhere and I hit play, I forget, oh, I don't want to be playing from that portion. I want to play from the beginning. So that helps a lot. Uh, if we want to get rid of a certain portion, let's say I, I only want to say this is an audio. Wait, what did I say at the first? Testing. Testing. Let's say I want to get rid of my, the first time I say testing, which is sort of th this area here. And to verify that, I can left click and hold and select just those portions. And now when I hit play, it'll only play what's in this highlighted area. Testing. And then it just stops. Testing. While that's highlighted, I can come up here to edit and I can do some different things to it. I can cut, I can copy, I can delete. If I want to, I can uh, duplicate, which is like copy to. But so if I just want to delete it, I just hit the hit delete right there and now that's gone. Now I'm not saying testing there, I'm saying only testing once instead of twice. So I can go back to the beginning and play. Testing, one, two, three. If I want it to come back, I can go to edit and go undo, delete, and now that's done. That's a undone, I mean. It's back. Now it's saying testing, testing, one, two, three. If I want to, um, an, a quicker way to delete, if I want to delete just this portion, I can just highlight it and hit the delete key on my keyboard, and it goes away. I can highlight everything and just hit delete, and it all goes away. Um, if I hit control Z, it'll bring those back. Control Z is just like basically going edit, undo. It's just a shortcut key. If I want to select everything at once, I can double click and it selects everything. So let's say I had a really long recording, I wanted the whole thing to be selected, just double click, it selects it all, and I can hit delete, and now it's gone. I have nothing to get it back, edit, undo, and it comes back. Uh, when things are selected, that's when you can apply effects to them also. There's all these different effects we can do. We can amplify to increase the volume. We can add echo, we can add some kind of fun effects, or we can just apply some effects to make it more sound better, make it, you know, reduce some of the noise and things like that. We'll be doing that in future videos. I want to talk about some of these different tools here. So if I want to zoom in on where I say one, two, three, I want to zoom in closer on one of those sound waves, I can actually click this uh, zoom tool here. So I left click on it, and then if I left click anywhere that I left click on my uh, wave file, or my wave uh, view down here, it'll zoom in and I can see what these are looking like. If I right click, it'll zoom out, and left click will zoom in. So I can zoom way out so it's just looking like that. I can zoom way in, and now I'm into like incredibly, incredibly granular. So I'll come out here and zoom out, and we can see, we can see exactly what this part of the audio is. So to play from a certain point, I have to go back to my selection tool and then click in here and click play. One. So that's me saying one. One, two, three. Uh, if I want to, let's say I want to move over and see what's happening earlier in the audio, 
I can come down to the bottom and use this slider to view, to move around and see different points of the audio. Um, I can also hold down, can I do that? Or maybe not. I thought I could hold down the mouse, middle mouse button, but I guess not. And I can, I can use this slider. And I can also, if I want to move, so this just changes the way that I'm looking at the, the audio. If I actually want to move it to a different point, I can come and zoom out here. Let's say I want to move uh, this whole uh, portion forward. I can click this tool, the time shift tool, and that lets me actually move the audio. So right now it was starting at zero seconds and it was playing till about four seconds. I can tell by looking at the top of the timeline here. But if I want to move it and have empty space for the first second of audio, I can do that by just left clicking and dragging the audio. And now if I go back to the beginning and hit play, it'll be silent for a second and then my audio will start. Testing, testing. And so it's actually, it really is actually complete silence and then you kind of hear this little tiny bit of noise as it comes in possibly. So this is the time shift tool and it's how to move around. I wanted to show you one more thing. I actually cleared out that audio, uh, but one more tool I wanted to show you if, is that we can bring in some audio. So if we just go, we can actually drag and drop. So if we bring in some music, like I have this, this is like a wave file, this jazz guitar, we go properties, it's a dot wave. I can just left click and drag and drop this in here and it imports the audio just like that. We can also go file and then we can go to import and we can import in audio. We can actually import in MIDI files as well uh, and it'll show the MIDI notation. But then something I want to show with this, um, this last tool is if we hover over and look, this is the envelope tool and we can left click on it and it creates sort of some gray lines across the top or like a lighter gray in the middle. And what it lets us do is if we just click one point, if we left click and hold, we can move up and down and control the volume and make this very soft or much louder. So now if we play this, that's what it sounds like. We can actually have it fade in by clicking over here and choosing a second point. So now if we left click here, we can actually make this much softer. We can move this and have it kind of fade in loud. We can click another point here and make it kind of soft. So we can have that be loud and then just drop down to soft automatically. And so that's the envelope tool to just uh, adjusting volume. It kind of creates this envelope around all the audio and you can adjust very quickly uh, the audio levels at certain points in the wave. Uh, so that's basically it for the, the tools up here that I wanted to cover for today. Appreciate you watching and I'll catch you in the next video.